Well, hello and welcome to Bloomberg Quint. Uh, we are joined today by the management of Greaves Cotton. Uh, they have had an acquisition done of Ampere vehicles uh, with which they are foring into uh, the electric vehicle space. Uh, uh, so very good morning to you. Uh, so my first question would be that uh, if you could tell us more about this acquisition, what are the details of it and uh, what is the rationale behind the foray in the electric vehicle space? Sure. Uh, good morning, uh, yes, to you and to your viewers. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, from the perspective of Reeves Cotton, Reeves Cotton since 1859 has always stood for uh, reliability, value, uh, total cost of ownership. We, on any given day, transport 10 million customers a day, right? And we give affordable mobility solutions. Our strategic business plan was based on mobility, farm, energy, and services. And as part of that, we are migrating from a diesel engine company to a solutions and a services company. As the next step of our strategic plan or our strategic intent, uh, we are acquiring Ampere, which also provides affordable mobility to the bottom of the pyramid. So when you look at it, uh, we have the brand, the reach, the capability, and the scale. Combine that with the technology over the last, uh, developed over the last eight to ten years from Ampere. Uh, combine that with the affordable mobility that can give the people, uh, the hundreds of millions of people at the bottom of the pyramid, the aspirers as well as the deprived segments of the society who need affordable transportation, especially in the last mile. Uh, segment. That is where we believe uh, this, it's very synergistic and that's kind of what has been the rationale of this deal. So if you could help us with uh, what would be the cost of this acquisition and, uh, uh, what, and how do you plan on funding it? Yeah, so uh, opportunately for us, uh, we are a cash uh, positive company. So we are zero debt and cash positive. So uh, we are going to be, uh, as part of this transaction, the first tranche of 67% where we acquire a majority stake will cost us uh, 77 crores. And then we have the option to go up to 80% at a later stage. Uh, so basically that's kind of uh, the bigger parameters of the deal. 67%, 77 crores, option to go up to 80% stake at a later stage. So what are the kind of uh, revenue targets do you have from this acquisition? How much was uh, uh, the revenue that Ampere had uh, on a quarterly basis and what would it bring uh, on the table for your company? Yeah, so if you look at it, I think uh, year to date, uh, uh, this year, they have done about 16 crores. I think last fiscal they have done 18 crores. So they are in a very high growth trajectory. So they were 7 crores the previous year. Last year was 18 crores. Year to date, they're already surpassed that number. So clearly, uh, they are um, targeting this bottom of the pyramid uh, opportunity, and they are growing with the technology, and they are scaling up rapidly. So, uh, so will you be uh, get? Uh, would you be getting any debt onto your books with this acquisition? Does Ampere have any debt? Uh, I think uh, no. That's uh, whatever it is. I think has all been reviewed. Uh, uh, not right now. No. Okay. So, so with this acquisition, and as you said that you are cash rich, uh, are you looking at any other inorganic modes of uh, expansion? Uh, so, uh, as part of our strategic plan, like I said, we have a roadmap and we will pursue, we will be open to both organic and inorganic routes as and when the right value proposition arrives. Having said that though, no immediate targets in mind, but uh, we always are looking to execute our strategic business plan and creating value for our shareholders. And if I've got you right, uh, you, you said that you are seeing immense opportunity in the clean technology solution. I have your press release open over here. So yes. if you could leave us with what is the guidance uh, for the remainder of FI19? What, what sort of revenue or bottom line target that we should watch out for? So uh, if you have uh, looked at our last five quarters, we have demonstrated for the last five quarters we are growing. The last three quarters we are growing double digit top line and bottom line. So when you look at it, 
and you look at it in that perspective, I think it gives you visibility to kind of where we're going. So we, our aim will be to continue in that strategic direction of profitable growth, partly because we are all basing this on our strategic business plan, wherein we are diversifying, adding new business verticals, for example, a multi-brand spares, leveraging our 5,000 plus retail outlets, a multi-brand service outlets through the Greaves Care, which uh, uh, on any given month now attracts 7,000 plus vehicles. On any given day, 10 million people touch our solutions. So when you look at some of this, uh, and the growth coming through not just the engine portfolio, which was a stronger portfolio, but also in terms of the services that I just touched upon, in terms of the farm, in terms of the energy, I think you can take the last couple of quarters and uh, get a proper trend line. Agesh, thank you so much for joining us and giving us an update with respect to this acquisition. Well, with that, uh, it's a wrap. Stay tuned for more.